What is like the number one thing like you're looking forward to? Like this, this year? upcoming season. This year? Yeah. Beating on Dante Young. You don't know how to be nice to uh, people. What is up guys? We are out here for the crit season opener in Ontario put on by Majestic and it's our first Cat 4 race. We're super stoked. Huge turnout. It's gonna be an awesome race. Awesome day of cycling. Let's go. So you, you're racing your cat, both Cat 4 now? First Cat 4. Nice, congratulations guys. Thank you so much for putting it on. No worries guys. Oh, it's a pleasure man. I feel like to see you guys. That's what it's all about watching. It is absolutely you know, yeah. So I'm here with Anthony Strickland, also known as a faster me. He's been doing a lot of Cat 5, 4, 5 races. This is his first Cat 4 race as well. Yes, sir. How are you feeling? Feeling all right. You know, a little fatigued. It's a little early in the season, but I'm going to race Cat 4 this year and see how far I can take it. Hopefully move up to Cat 3 sometime by the end of the year. And uh, this is the first one. I'm going to use it as a training and just see how it goes. That's awesome. Have a good race. We'll see you out there. All right, bro. First cat four race. Here we go. Right from the start, I'm at the very front, but then going into the first few corners, I start to slot back and I just start losing ground and fall back into the field, kind of close to the back, and I just sit back there. For most of the race, I was just chilling back there until I tried moving up near the end. So I'm already at the back, and I'm just getting uh, used to cornering again and like riding with everybody all around me. And then I'll just try and move up from just like the second half of the race. Yeah, like what Eli was saying, everyone's just getting into racing again. It's the first race of the season, so everyone has those first race jitters. It definitely took me a minute to get used to cornering again and being in a huge field because I just haven't done a race or a practice in what felt like forever. Yee, can't wait for crit practice. Go Fast always comes out to these races with amazing teamwork. You can see they even nudge some guys out of the way just to make sure they hold the wheel of their teammates and stay together on their train. So right here, Jack's behind this guy a little bit but it works out good because he gets to preserve his momentum and he gets to just hop on the back of the wheel and when they sprint out of it, he doesn't have to burn a match. So right here, the field is soft pedaling, so I hop on this guy who pulls me to the front where it's way smoother. Yeah, I was near the back right here and I wanted to move up and so I noticed that the field started soft pedaling and so I move up on the right side and I see Swalt up there and I let him know I'm coming up and I, he lets me slot in right in front of him coming into this corner. So going into this corner, there's a lot of people on the inside and so everyone like checks up and breaks. And then if you look in the rear cam, LaDon Williams, the rider in the green bibs, like slides out. It's pretty wild. Yeah, and then I have to take this wide and I almost hit the curb. But luckily I don't. Yeah, he, Ladon was okay though. He jumped back in the race. I'm sure it was very painful though. Hope you heal up. It felt very crowded going around corners. You can see those two riders bump and then this guy rides in the gutter. It was just wild going around corners, especially when it was slower. When it was faster and more strung out, it definitely felt safer. So second crash of the day, you can see on the right, those two Velosport riders get pinched, which causes the guy in the orange to swing out a little. And then it causes the guy in the black to take a wide line and push Anthony and they hook bars and then ride pretty much to the curb until they actually fall over. Yeah, Anthony just had nowhere to go. And so they pretty much like lock bikes and then they just couldn't hold it. So pretty wild crash. Hope you heal up soon, Anthony. So after that crash, it kind of split the field a little bit, so we had to do some chasing to hop back on. 
The race was super surgy, especially on this corner in particular. It would slow down a bunch, and then you can see Thomas in front of me. He was sprinting, so was I. You just have to do so much power to get back on. Third and final crash of the day, thankfully. Guys, it was wild. So I don't know what happened, but it kind of looks like a guy slid out or something and just hit another guy. I had to make a really quick decision and I swerved right to avoid it, but it slowed us down a bunch. And so now we really had to chase back on the field. A lot of riders didn't make it. Eli had to do a lot of work, especially. Eli, how hard of an effort was it for you? Uh, it was a really hard effort. I had to do a lot of chasing, but I was real motivated to finish with the field. So now it's one lap to go, and I was just desperately trying to make up spots, trying to get near the front, but I just couldn't do it. And I actually pop off a little sprint at the end. I think I came in 23rd, and Eli just had nothing left in the legs. But it was an awesome first Cat 4 race. I can't wait for the season, and just getting back into bike racing was amazing. Woo! Yo, Thomas! Hey. How was the race? Sketchy. Yeah. Very sketchy. Definitely. How'd you do? Well, uh, there's a trash right in this corner right here. Yeah, I was right behind it. I know. And then I got that second one. I was like, yeah, I was right behind it. And I had to slow down so much. And then I tried the PT all the way back on the group. But you guys were wrong. This was like your first big race, right? Yeah, big race. Nice work, Thomas. Hey, you guys too, dude. Good job. Yeah, we'll see you out there at another one. Yeah, it's probably six of road racing or mountain bike racing. I don't know about that. So we just finished the Cat 4 race. Swalt, how was it? It was pretty good. Um, seemed pretty consistent at the end. Everybody's stronger, that's for sure. Um, a lot of crashes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of crashes. We stayed up. That was good. Stayed safe. Um, Near the end, it was hard to move up. Yeah, there was. But. it seemed like everybody else had a lot more power than what we're used to, so couldn't gain as many spots at the end. But Did you pop off a little sprint? Tried to. I got pinched at the end, so I had to break and then come around again. But Nice work. Thanks for racing. Yeah, man. But yeah, when we bumped, um, yeah, so yours we bumped. I was like, "Hey, sir!" <laughs> he was like, oh, "No, no problem." Man, that was scary. <laughs> and we barely touched. I mean, I was we just barely shocked. feather touched. You know. I just like wasn't expecting yeah. it, and I was like, "Whoa!" Well, oh, and I wasn't trying to bump you either, but we were just like, yeah, it was, I it couldn't was, go anywhere. Thanks. Right. Nice, right, nice, nice work. Time. Heal up. All right.
gonna go change into some clothes and, go, and then go interview the pros, see how they're feeling about the race and about the upcoming season. Justin, how was the Ooh, race? It was a nice jersey, boy! It was a nice jersey! <laughs> Got no, it, was good race. it was a good race, man. It was a, it's always interesting coming out back out to the first one. Yeah. It's good to see everyone, but it's like, hey, it's good to see everyone, but it's, um, you know, it's also good to like open the legs up because you can't simulate this kind of effort and training. So uh -huh. we have fun today, man. That's what it's all about, right? Only four Legion guys? Only four, man. Y'all still got the, the work the Cali, done. The Cali boys, man. We got our boy Sean back. So, you know, it's really nice because he's just really reliable, really powerful. Hunter's always, Hunter's Mr. Consistent and like everything, man. He's he's great. So yeah. we got a good group of guys. We don't have the whole team, but you know, we make it work. It looked awesome. Exactly. What is like the number one thing like you're looking forward to? Like this, this year? upcoming season. This year? Yeah. Beating on Dante Young. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to be nice to oh man it's first podium of the season you better enjoy it ain't gonna last long okay <laughs> the number one thing this year um damn um that's a good question man I, I, there's so many things to look forward to with the team we got a bunch of new young guys uh that came on we got a Full women's team this year that's really awesome i can't wait to see them kill it yeah. they're gonna hold us to an extremely high standard um dude i'm just looking forward to having fun you know what i mean we built this amazing thing um and we cultivated this like really cool culture around the sport and i just want to enjoy it this year i think <laughs> last year and the year before i spent so much time focusing on building and grinding and this year i just want to be patient with myself give myself love uh, and really enjoy what we've put together. Nice. It looked awesome out there. Yeah, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. How'd you go today? Uh, it was my first Cat 4 race. I saw you out there. And I hung in until the very end. There were three big crashes. Crashes, yeah, I heard. Over there, it was right in front of me. Oh. And I just took the inside line and, like, barely missed it. <laughs> Got a boy. Over here, there was one behind me. Yeah. And then, yeah, it That's was That's racing, it man. It's, crazy. A, it's a part of it, especially as you go through the categories. What yeah. you want to do is you always want to focus on what's happening in front of you and the guy, like, you know, not directly in front of you like a few guys in front of you always yeah. look at the front of the peloton uh -huh. and you can see a lot of things happening you ride you know you got to move away from people that are riding aggressive or sketchy just get away from them because better you use a little bit of energy to get away from them then you end up on the ground when you break something yeah. or you break your bike or you know what i mean so always focus on what's happening in front of you the race behind you doesn't matter you said a crash happened behind you <laughs> not your problem right everything is focused on what's happening in front of you how can you be the most efficient who's attacking what wheels you want to follow and staying away from trouble yeah, yeah. i was definitely being very careful today. yeah boy <laughs> that's good it's a good start it's practice makes practice makes progress you just got to keep progressing you know what i mean you can't wait for crit practice to start back i know up. i was literally thinking the other day i haven't done a, a hard ride in a long time and i was like we yeah. need to do uh we need to do crit practice again so I can get out there and do some big efforts because you come out here and guys like Jason Pius are just amazingly strong and riding a million miles an hour. So, well, thanks. All right, dude, I'll catch you. That catch was you nice work. Yeah, man. That was a race. It was fast, man. It was a really fast course. Yeah, yeah. Are you looking forward to anything for the year? Ah, oh, man, every race is important to me, of course. Every race is important to me. So whenever I could come out and, and win something, it's, it's a good time. Yeah, you ready for a crit practice? Of course, man. I've been. I'm, we should have started crit practice maybe a month ago before the race. But <laughs> what's your crit you know, This is actually my first time doing this uh, version of this course, so it was uh, pretty fast. I thought it would be a breakaway, but it was just yeah, the speed were the speeds were too high. Yeah, <laughs> but nice job. Thank you. Mhm. Mm have a good one, man. Yeah. I'll see you at the next race. Nice work out there, Jason. How are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. This is the guy you got interviewed. He podium, man. I was no in way. Pac today. I'm, I'm second rate to Ozzy. Come over here. Osvaldo Mora, that's the name. That's the uh, name right it? here. Mr. Nah, it, was, it was fun. It was intense. I mean, everyone's getting back into it again. Yeah. So it was a good workout for sure. Yeah, were, you, were you in good position? Got a good sprint around here? I mean, yeah. I mean, I was trying to posi position myself very well. I was behind Dante coming into the last corner. Yeah. But I guess I just didn't have enough gas. <laughs> But it was cool. What are y'all looking forward to this season? A win. Podium and winning. <laughs> we had to win, man. 
That's yeah. what I'm most want. Y'all are definitely so close. Yeah, yeah. you're getting there, you know. Close so far. Poco a poco, right? Poco a poquito. <laughs> ya mero. We need some crit practices. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Right, nice right, work. See ya. Right, take care. How was the race, guys? Oh man, I haven't raced good, a bike dude. in a while. It wasn't as fast as I thought it might be. It was too slow on the last lap, and then it was too fast with two turns to go. <laughs> Going into the last corner, I was like sixth yeah. or seventh. And then by this corner, not seventh. I was like, <laughs> oh geez. And it was like 1100 watts, and I still did not stay on the back of that. I could not believe it. In the draft. In the draft, 1100 watts could not stay on the wheel. So crazy. What are y'all looking forward to this season? Redlands Classic. That's Redlands Classic. Yeah. Everything is for Redlands. I don't care about anything else. I'm just trying to survive Redlands. First cat floor race. It was a little sketchy, but it was a really fun being back out here for the start of the season. Yeah, it's definitely good to get out here and do some racing. The stats were super high. It's just an awesome experience out here. Huge thanks to Majestic for putting it on. As always, you know it. Froze your bikes. bikes.